Season two of Back From Broken launched on Friday. It's a podcast about recovery from Colorado Public Radio and CPR News. CPR host Vic Vela, he joins us now to talk more about the new season. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, John. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm here in my meditation grotto upstairs, so <laughs> I appreciate the invitation. Right on. Well, thanks for waking up with us. Season two will showcase nine people and their journeys of recovery. What can listeners expect to hear from these stories? Well, you know, it's, it's similar to first season in the sense it's just people telling their stories about uh, overcoming the biggest challenges in their lives. So, you know, drug addiction, alcoholism, uh, mental health issues. And we're also kind of digging deeper because the um, uh, the umbrella for recovery is a big one. Uh, people have to overcome a lot of different kinds of challenges. So we'll hear from a woman who is uh, gay, who uh, went through conversion therapy. Uh, we will hear from someone who overcame agoraphobia um, and uh, postpartum psychosis. So uh, it's it's not just drugs and alcohol. It's not just mental health. It's really a lot of things anything that causes human suffering. And, and right now, especially, there's a lot of that. You've been very open about your recovery as well. How much did yeah. your experiences play uh, in this podcast and getting other people to open up as well? Yeah, it, it played a lot. Uh, you know, when I was, um, uh, you know, it wasn't that long ago when I was struggling with, with cocaine addiction and, and uh, uh, other drugs like meth and, and, and uh I started smoking crack in the last couple of years of my uh, drug addiction years. And that's a tough way to live. And I was in pain for a really, really long time until I finally came up with the courage uh, to say the, the, the phrase that I'm most proud of, uh, I need help. And uh, there's a lot of people who haven't gotten to my point though. And there's a lot of people out there, especially during the pandemic where our, our social networks are all out of whack uh, who might be having to go through some things alone. And I, I just want people to know through this podcast, through our work, uh, that you're not alone, uh, that there's a lot of people in the same boat and together uh, we can overcome a lot. I wanna ask you this question here. You call it back from broken. It, tell me why you use that word broken when you talk about addiction. Is, is there a re reason for that? Yeah, you know, it's, it's something I think that you know, the one thing that's lost in this day and age is is empathy and having empathy for our fellow fellow human being. I think if we look at suffering as something that we all go through, like we're all broken, um, you know, it's not just people who are struggling with drugs and alcohol or mental health issues, but every single one of us knows what it's like to go through some sort of pain and suffering, uh, whether you went through a bad breakup, whether you lost a job, uh, whether you... Uh, uh, you know, aren't seeing your friends anymore. I think if we base all communication on empathy, then we could understand uh, a struggles that may be, uh, you know, different than what we're going through. And, and maybe when we base conversations on empathy, then you as a father or a mother can understand uh, why your son can't stop drinking, or you as a partner can understand uh, why your partner can't stop smoking meth. Uh, it's a very difficult challenge when we overcome these things, but uh, again, together we can do it. And, and empathy and compassion are, are words that I try and abide by uh, every single day. Such an important message. Thank you so much, yeah. Vic, for being here. And uh, there is a link to subscribe to the podcast, Back From Broken, on the CPR website, cpr.org. Thank you again, Vic. Let's send it over to Kylie for a look at the forecast.